the Magic Paintbrush. Hey everyone, today we're reading The Magic Paintbrush, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Joel Stewart. The Magic Paintbrush. Go and catch some shrimps, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore. A stick is in her hand. She sits there drawing pictures, pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea. A hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock there sits a man a brush in his hand. He looks around, he calls to Shen, come here, he whispers, shh, hush, we don't want all the world to know about this magic paintbrush. He slips the brush in her hand and tells her to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. Did you catch some shrimp, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no, no oysters. Shen laughs and ran inside. She paints a pot, then stands and waits until the paint has dried. The paint dries on the paper. The painting of the pot is not a painting anymore, but it's real and it's steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimp, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill an empty dish. The village people hear the news. Into the house they crush. The young and old want to see Shen and her magic paintbrush. She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman, and for a girl, a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, for hats, coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last inside Shen's house the powerful emperor stands. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves, paint golden coins, a hundred on each twig. She shakes her head. Your majesty, I promise to be sure, never to paint for wealthy folks, but only for the poor. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot, and he bellows to his man, seize the paintbrush, and seize the girl called Shen. Now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there until the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins and you shall go free. Shen takes the paintbrush and bowing low, she says, Gracious Majesty, come back here in the morning and you will have your tree. That night, the emperor lies in his bed and dreams about his tree, while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. The key turns the, in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. Where are my coins? The emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? Where is the magic brush? He cries. Who let the girl go free? He climbs up on his fastest horse and rides along with his men. Over the fields and desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again. The neighbours gather round, but Shen is painting silently while distant hoofbeats beats sound. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. 
the emperor and all his men stop on the other side. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He shakes his fist at Shen. I'll swim across your river and you, so will my men. But Shen is busy painting, a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flames curl from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now, shall I paint that tail, asks, she asks, or would you rather go? She dips her paintbrush into the pot. The emperor cries out, no! He turns his horse and rides away. Away r ride all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. She paints a mound of golden rice and cakes like the moon and drums and flutes till the, all the streets ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out and shines as bright as day while Shen and all the villagers dance the night away. The end. I enjoyed this story. Did you? Now, what will you paint with your magic paint? Wow, Miss Islam, that was a beautiful story. Did you all really enjoy that story? Because I sure did. I thought it was really cool that whatever Shen painted turned into real life. Let's sing a song about a magic paintbrush. Do you want to paint a picture, a picture, a picture? Do you want to paint a picture? Then come and paint with me. Swish upwards and downwards and this way and that way. Do you want to paint a picture? Then come and paint with me. Now go find your magic paintbrush, your paintbrush, your paintbrush. Now go find your magic paintbrush and come